welcome Libra. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Starseed Oracle, Divine Directions and Animal Tarot Cards. Okay, Libra, let's get into it. All right, one card for Libra, please. We're going to have a look at this card and then at the end, we're going to read it out of the book. One card for Libra, please. It is Libra, there it is. Weight of the world. Okay, Libra. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Mm, that's really interesting. What is it that you're carrying that is not yours? Libra. <clears throat> it's kind of like needing to immerse yourself in this <sighs> sea of um, cleansing, purifying water. to let things go okay so what is the story with the weight of the world for Libra please tell me more about this <clears throat> I don't that just didn't come out right right three cards for Libra please three cards tell me more about weight of the world for Libra Libra First two cards, there we go. Okay, so we have goals is the first card. We have move is the second and focus is the third. Okay, goals. It's time for you to take your goals off the back burner. Go after them. Libra, do it. Move. <clears throat> actually stop right there well, let's work on goals first okay Libra let's have a look further into this goals I wonder if for some of you you know what those goals are some of you may not so it might be time to sit down and really work that out for yourself right gosh all cards coming from all directions here not really all directions because there's only one place they can come from but they all do you know what it's this feeling scattered kind of energy so I wonder if it this is a matter of you actually sitting down and making a plan like being proactive and actually going okay what is it that I want to achieve and how am I going to get there right start from the end and work your way back so that you can see the steps that you need to take in order to get to where you want to go okay so we have life experience you see some of you are questioning whether you even have what it takes it life experience is the biggest thing that you can take anywhere because there's so many things that we can learn okay but the experience of these things is really what matters so don't discount any experiences that you have been through, any life experiences that you've had, all right? Use them in order to make the transition that you need to make for yourself, okay? Pelican, yes, you see two is spring. There's a decision to, that needs to be made. And I feel like for some of you, this is a decision as to what direction to go in, okay? There's the sense of pondering and... Um, I want to say about this is um, don't ponder for too long. Make sure you actually take flight and start moving, even if it's little by little, even if you don't feel ready, even if it feels scary, do it anyway, okay? We have the Prince of Spring. I love this. Look at this dolphin here. Jumping out of the water into the sunlight. You know, we talk about um, jumping in the deep end. This is jumping into the light here, right? I feel like I want to read this to you. An opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. Oh, I love that. That's cool. That's really, really good. 
And, you know, whatever you do, do it with confidence, right? Okay, so awakening. Look at this. This here is seeing something from another perspective, right? Seeing things from a different point of view. And kind of like seeing things maybe with a bit of humor to lighten it for yourself, okay? Um, changing it up. Doing something different. Trying different things out, okay? Very important for you. I feel as though for those of you who don't know what your goals are or what it is that you want to achieve, it's important for you to try different things out here. We have the Emperor, and the Emperor knows um, how to build its empire, right? He knows what needs to be gathered, what can be discarded, how much of what is needed. And I feel like this planning is what is needed for you to go ahead with the goals that you want to achieve. Okay, you have Ram here as well. There's an, an energy of this, this ramming heads and this could be with someone else. This could be going on even in your own mind. Okay, so be mindful um, that you're not letting that get in your way of what it is that you want to do. Don't give up on yourself just because things aren't panning out with someone else in your life or with a group of people in your life. Okay, make sure that your ambitions and the... Um, the destination of where you want to end up for yourself personally remains intact regardless of what is going on around you and what people are doing in their own lives. Okay, very important for you. Right, move. Get up and get active. Try gentle exercise such as yoga, tai chi or pilates. So make sure that you're moving um, because that's moving the energy, right? That's shifting energy for yourself. So this is really important to release anything that's stuck. Okay, so tell me more about move for Libra, please. So almost like that's the kind of card that comes about. And I'm like, what more? <clears throat> what more could you say about that? I'm sure there's more. Okay. Okay, I feel like these cards are what is needed here right now. Okay, so the King of Summer. Um, this here, this is this is someone who knows what that needs to be done in order to raise their family, right? It's a bit like the empire here. They know exactly what needs to be done in order to make things work, okay? There's the six of winter here as well. And I just kind of wonder if there's some sort of um, new beginning here um, in the sense of this could even actually be about you. It may not be about another person, but it could be another person coming into your life to offer you this energy to help you get things sorted, okay? To help you work out where it is that you need to be um, I want to say at the right time, but that's not necessarily planned. But it's almost as though someone else coming in and giving you a bit of a a bit of a push, I guess, not in a mean way, but you know, a, a push in the right direction for yourself is going to land you in the places that you need to be at the right time. Because it's sort of like planting that seed to go, oh, actually, I think this is what I do want. And then suddenly all these synchronicities and all these um, things start happening that make it possible for you to actually create the goals that you want to achieve. Okay. And, um, and I feel like this move here, this could be moving somewhere else. This could be traveling. This could be even going overseas, okay? Um, but I feel like it's moving away from a particular situation. It's moving away from 
something that is not um, emotionally soothing you. Yeah. It's kind of like this, this cat, see, I notice here, this is the first time I've noticed this, but this cat has come out of this um, boat shed here and just jumped in the water and gone. It's like it hasn't even bothered to close the doors. It's like, man, I'm off, right? And that's this what this energy is here. Seven of winter in the ten of summer. I feel like here um, that it's important for you to be careful of what you share. Or what it is that you divulge. There's something here that um, I feel like someone is taking from you. And it could be your time. It could be your energy. It could be... It's like, because, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. This, this bird here is gathering up these jewels, right? It's putting them in the nest to save for when it needs them, right? They might be valuable things. Interestingly enough, it's holding the key. And funnily enough, I feel like this is the key to your heart. And in your heart is like this set of jewels, this nest of jewels, right? And I want to say to you, Libra, to make sure that you have ownership of that key, that no one else, else has ownership of that key. For some reason, I don't know why that's coming through, because there's also a ring in here as well. There's a ring. Hmm. We have the ten of summer, and this is happily ever after, right? It can be known as so. I just wonder what these two are about here. Is this you handing over the key to your heart, maybe, for some of you, or is this taking you taking back the key to your heart? Apply it as you will. I think there's a couple of different stories here. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, focus. This is the next card here. You're in need of a clear direction. Decide what you want in life. 100%, Libra, 100%. And it's about you. No one else but you. Okay, so focus. Tell me more about focus, please. Tell me more about focus in relation to the weight of the world for Libra. Focus. And so I wonder if, you know, with this weight of the world, there's a lot on your shoulders. Um, but the thing is that that's taking away from you focusing on your goals, right? And so it's important to um, give ownership on what, it is that people belong to other people and what belongs to you. Yeah. Tell me more about focus, the Libra. Anything else about focus? It's not coming out the way I want it to. There it is. Okay. Let me pick this up here, Libra. Okay, Libra. So focus, we have the four of autumn, this is you gathering everything that you need in order to see you through um, a certain period, okay? Um, the hermit here is about you using your light to guide your way, okay? And I think this is really important for you to make sure that right now everything that you're doing is about you, Yes, you can um, still take care of other people, but it's really about you and what you want and your goals in your life. 
okay be wary of people trying to sway you in the direction that they want you to go in because it benefits them okay be very wary of that okay we have the elephant look at this justice here right this is about um standing in your power and using your strength to get justice that you deserve okay um and be aware that the smallest, sweetest of things can come along and cause an imbalance, okay? And I want to say here, Libra, that those things are very difficult for you to see, okay? So just be mindful of that. The moon, not everything is known, not everything is seen, okay? And it's important for you to try and keep your calm during those times where you're unsure, and you don't know what is coming, and you don't know what's next, and you don't even know what to do. Just know that you will transform into something incredibly powerful here. Okay. We've got the five of summer here, and this is a transformation in a spiritual sense. Okay. And um, this is also about you finding your place. It's about you finding your place and working out who you truly are. Being in the right place for you, not because someone else wants to be there, but you want to be there. Okay, we also have the two of autumn. It's another decision. Well, it could be even be the same decision. Okay, and it feels like everything's all mumbled jumbled. Okay, but Libra... If you really go within into your heart, you will know the best course of action to take. And I feel like deep down inside, you already know that. Um, it's just not necessarily the easiest path. And generally, the least easiest path is the one that we need to take. Okay, so weight of the world here for your Libra. Let's have a look. Alrighty. Boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. You don't need to carry at all. You're no good to anyone if you're running on empty and bogged down by the weight of the world. This card is a reminder to look after your own well-being before anyone else's. To stop carrying the world's problems on your shoulders. To put down your own oxygen mask first. In these changing times, it's hard not to feel overwhelmed by the state of the planet. However, you can't take on its problems from a place of energetic depletion. This card is thanking you for caring so much. You want to build a better world and ease the road for others. And that's incredible. But the way you've been doing it so is likely unsustainable. This isn't to say you should switch off to the world's problems and become unconscious. Rather, it's a call to establish clear boundaries so you're not constantly taken out energetically. The planet needs you to be healthy, both physically and emotionally. So instead of digesting the news or reaching for your phone, as soon as you wake up, show up first to a nourishing practice such as meditation, soul inquiry, deep breathing or exercising in nature. Once you're in a state of grace and your inner well is full, you can face the day, the state of the world and care for others. And at the day's end, take an energetic shower by emptying out anything that's not yours to carry. You can pick it up again in sorry you can pick it up again the next morning if you so choose but give yourself time and space to rejuvenate and rest okay so the solar in inquiry for you the star seed is this question to ask yourself and really ponder on this you don't have to answer straight away but look for it throughout your daily life throughout the week whatever all right what are you carrying that isn't even yours? Okay, so 
be, be very mindful, Libra. As you have different conversations, as you feel different emotions, as people put different things upon you, make sure it's yours to take ownership of. Okay? Okay, Libra, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.